you're having a super happy and cozy day so far I know I always say cozy this time of year why is my voice like this do you hear this <clears throat> excuse me today I am filming a little day in my life video I absolutely love doing these they just feel so chill and I feel like I really bond with you guys but today is gonna be extra fun because we're about to pop over to Walt Disney World for a little bit um, I'm meeting my friend Caroline and she helps me take a lot of my Disney photos for my Instagram and stuff so we're doing some outfit photos and just gonna walk around look at the Christmas decor so I'll show you some Christmas decorations the park looks so 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 beautiful this time of year so I kind of want to give you a little taste but we actually have to leave soon I don't have my phone near me so I don't know what time it is but I think it's about 8 45 and we need to leave in 15 minutes and I still got to put on my lipstick and stuff and brush my teeth so we got to get going and I'll show you the outfits I have it's kind of hard this time of year because it's actually chilly outside and again that's a relative term for this Floridian I know it may not be chilly to you um it's about 60 degrees here and so lots of my outfits I have like these big chunky and cozy sweaters and stuff but that's gonna be really hard to fit in a backpack so we got to do it we got to cram it in I like to think I'm pretty good at packing and rolling my clothes up but I also like to keep all the outfits together um, so that when I'm changing I have everything I need so we have outfit one two three four so that's what we're gonna do little behind the scenes today but basically I just like to go I love to take photos at Disney it's one of my favorite places in Orlando to take photos because truly it's so picturesque like there's a freaking huge castle <laughs> like it's hard to beat but I like to just get photos like when I go it honestly is a little bit of a hassle to go to Disney again very relative term but like for Magic Kingdom for instance I'm leaving an hour before we're even meeting just because it's only 20 minutes away from where I live, but to go through the security and take the monorail and all that stuff, it actually adds up. So when I go, I like to content batch, with, which means, you know, just taking multiple photos at once. So that is what we're doing today, and I only scheduled like two and a, two and a half hours with Caroline's because I have lots of other work I need to get done today. So it's going to be a busy one, but going to be fun we're gonna have a good day be productive and just make the most of it last night I was feeling awful like 
I just was feeling uninspired and drained and anxious. Like, I was crying before bed. Sweet Brandon, he was so, so sweet to me and really, like, talked some truth into my heart. But I was, like, uh, it was just kind of like a funk, you know? And I just was not, like, I wasn't looking forward to today. But I'm feeling way better this morning. One of my favorite things about, like, my faith is just how much hope I feel in the morning like God really just helps me feel refreshed and renewed when the morning comes and I'm just so thankful for that because if I still felt how I did last night like I would not have makeup on right now I would be curled up in that bed right there so I'm really thankful and feeling way more inspired and motivated this morning so let's make it a good one okay we are off got my big backpack full of clothes and the tote bag, security's probably gonna be like, hey, you know, this isn't a hotel, right? Like, what are you doing with all this clothing? But who cares? <laughs> we gotta go. had a successful little photo shoot this morning with four different outfits. It was so funny, all of the stuff that I squeezed into my backpack. It was kind of crazy. I had so much stuff, but we did it. And now it's already almost one o'clock. By the time I get home, it's gonna be one o'clock already, which is craziness. This day is truly flying by, but it's good. We still have a lot to get done today, so we need to be super productive, and I need to clean up the apartment a bit because I was kind of like, I was having a slow morning, and I scrambled to like run out of the house so I could get to Magic Kingdom on time because like I said, it takes forever. Um, and so I have like clothes everywhere and all just a mess. So we're going to clean up get some lunch I'm hungry thankfully I have some leftover Starbucks coffee like I got a cold brew yesterday so I have some leftovers so after lunch I can get some caffeine and I don't have to make anything so it's gonna be good but we need to just be productive before this day
just wrapped up a meeting and now I'm about to hop into another one. So it's already 4.30. Usually I don't have meetings this late, but it's someone on the West Coast because we have Disneyland um, folks that we work with as well. So I'm about to do that and I'm honestly feeling so overwhelmed. These past few weeks have just been busy, but it's, of course my camera dies as soon as I'm like opening up to you guys, but yeah, I've been super busy, like I said, all good things that I'm super thankful for, but I just need to cross things off my to-do list, and I tend to kind of like get too overwhelmed over small things, so I'm just trying to navigate that and trying to get better about that and trying to like pray for peace and comfort even when I am so busy, but yeah, my camera's about to die again soon, so I'm going to charge this while I'm my camera died on me yet again as I was talking, but I charged it and Brandon's home now. Yay! <laughs> and I'm about to make some dinner before we head over to our friend's house. So let's do that. Tonight I'm making Buddha bowls. Um, I made them the other night for the first time and I was nervous because it was my first time making them. But they turned out really yummy and it actually sounds super good tonight as well. I I would say the level of effort isn't crazy, but you do have to chop some things up and it's just a lot of ingredients. It's all easy ingredients, but it's just a lot of them. So it does kind of take a minute, but I have the air fryer out. I'm gonna air fry some sweet potatoes and chickpeas to go in it. That's kind of our like heartiest piece of it. And then for sauce, the sauce is key. I have this avocado tzatziki dip that I bought from Trader Joe's the other day that I put on mine. But then I also made a sauce out of Greek yogurt and cayenne pepper and hot sauce and some other spices like garlic powder and onion powder. And it was really yummy and spicy. I actually liked it with the bowl more than this tzatziki dip i just made it first of all because brandon doesn't like dill and dill is always in tzatziki dip so i knew he wouldn't like that but the homemade sauce actually turned out better because it was spicy and you guys know how we feel about spicy foods so i'm gonna make this real quick and then have a nice nutritious meal to help ease my stress and spend some quality time with that cutie dinner is served and we have the garlic and naan bread from trader joe's seriously so yummy i just love how colorful this meal is about to leave for our friend's house and I made this little dessert board with some of my Trader Joe's goodies that I got. Looks super yummy. There's so many yummy treats. <laughs> okay, we just got back home from our friend's house. It was so much fun. But now, what time is it? It's, it's so late <laughs> for grandma and grandpa. We still have to like shower, make Brandon's lunch. He's gonna make his lunch, I'm gonna shower. But I'm ending this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.